Shalom, Shalom, uh, Israel. Uh, this is the brother Zachariah, and uh, as you can see, it's a snowy day out here in Indiana. I wanted to come out and um, talk to you, brother. This is the first time me being on the highways and byways, by the way. You know, so uh, you know, Salakia. You know, hopefully this is a edifying lesson, but it's more. I'm gonna call it testimony because I wanna y'all to get to know me and understand. You know, like who I am. You know, you know, as days progress and I start to do more and more and more videos and try to put them up Lord willing but I want you to understand like why I wasn't able to like put them out and um, like brothers have been getting on me you know uh, there was video done that was said you know that I'm uh, you know uh, not a man of the Lord which I don't see how that's uh, possible when you know I wake up every day and and constantly putting information out you know i don't do it for uh any glory recognition i don't do it for likes views you know i do it because i love my people you know and uh man i gave up so much in this world which i'm gonna you know break that down here in this lesson and um you know i just gave a lot of stuff up man and um just uh you know be in this walk and, and you know walk with yahweh and make it and see our people make it you know, I have a big family and I love my family, but uh, I'm going to um, first I want first and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, and double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel that are, uh, you know, teaching rule well, uh, all the brothers and sisters that are, you know, laboring, doing the work and just, you know, uh, making their bodies a living sacrifice, uh, learning. Uh, applying uh, some that are not on the highways and byways but are getting built up in the spirit to come out and do the work you know um, just want to say shalom to you guys but uh, again um, you know uh, I go by Zachariah but my name is William William Bradley you know I'm named after my uh, father he's named after his father so I'm the third you know <laughs> but uh, I was born in Louisville Kentucky uh, raised in southern Indiana, but I'm a military brat, so like we've, I've lived in like nine different states, lived out of the country. I've said something earlier about living in Puerto Rico. You know, shout out to uh, Tribe of Ephraim. Um, I just turned uh, 38 back in September, September 11. I was born in 1984. Uh, woke up to this truth. Uh, well, I woke up to knowing I was an Israelite uh, at the age of 33. Uh, brother, and uh, he was a uh, into Christianity and everything, but he was learning and he had posted a video about, you know, the us, uh, it was more about the Southern Kingdom, uh, over in, uh, Africa. And it was talking about how we are, uh, the Israelites and things like that. And it was just, it, it hit my spirit and I just started to, to research, research and it, you know, researching and learning and stuff like that. It is not going to happen just like that. You're not going to just hear it. And then the next day you're on the highways and byways, you know, I'm still learning stuff, you know, every day, you know, I don't know it all. So, you know, but I'm going to talk about what I know because I don't want to butcher anything. I don't want no elders or no one jumping on me, you know, so I talk about um, what I know, stay in my lane, but I'm going to come out and, and to the best of my abilities. But uh, yes, uh, I learned back in uh, 33, uh, at the age of 33, uh, I was a uh, Israelite and I just started just researching and researching. You know, I didn't hear about Great Millstone until like maybe two years ago two and a half something like that i don't really know I, I never really kept track of it but uh i learned you know i watched a video here and there but i didn't know the the difference like the camps and everyone believe in different things the uh the, the uh you know some believe that it's negro only you know you got different uh 12 tribe charts and stuff like that i heard glcc and you know all the, the iuic uh sakari uh uh, Sons of Thunder, you know, all, all the different uh, camps, man. I, and, you know, I know some have different beliefs on things, you know, with the mark and stuff. But my spirit, it led me with Great Millstone, you know, uh, at the end, you know, like a lot of the brothers, you know, I listened to, you know, uh, the message that they put out. And, and it just it goes with, with, with what's going on with prophecy, you know, um, you know, the, the mark of the beast, which that's the RFID microchip, uh, by the way. Um and um, just, uh, you know, a lot going on and, you know, with these uh, prophecies and 
and they they constantly speaking on it and things like that so i just really was just taking in a lot soaking it in um you know writing things down you know i got my notepad got my sword with me got my pocket for uh with me down here in my backpack uh <laughs> but uh yeah just uh learning man learning and i just talk about what i know we post brothers videos you know because uh you know being out in this world man it was nothing you know i, I was pursuing music i started doing music back in 2003 but you know i just wanted a better life for me and start a family so i wanted to take it to another level so i was uh it got to a point where i was like going out there to la but that's back back when i learned i was an israelite so i gave it up but uh yeah uh it's it's kind of crazy you know uh i'm definitely grateful for this truth though because it made me give up the music and stuff like that so a lot of people locally know me for music, but I tell them, you know, I don't do the music no more. I'm, you know, in this truth, you know, and I follow it and I just try to wake my people up. You know, um, you know, brothers were coming out saying I wasn't going on the highways and byways, but I, I do come out, by the way. I do come out. I may not have it, uh, you know, recorded or YouTube channel going live and all that, but, you know, to where, you know, every eye can see, but... There's a lot of things I do behind the scenes, you know, but I know that, you know, Yahweh Bashin, Yahweh Shah sees it. And to me, that all that matters. You know, the brothers might not, you know, don't see it that way. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, he's king of kings, lord of lords. So I'm, you know, definitely, you know, I've been out, you know, doing things. I don't just be slothful or sit around. Just, you know, trying to wake our people up because I'm a very sincere brother, you know, so when people try to say things like I'm not the, a man of the Lord and stuff like that, you know, maybe I don't meet your uh, expectations or, you know, your criteria, but, you know, who are you? You know, you, you're a man just like me. You're waiting for the chariots just like me. Uh, so, you know, I just let brothers say what they say. I had to say my piece because I'm not going to let someone just disrespect me, you know. I'm not gullible. You're not going to disrespect me. I'm a grown man. You are two i'm i'm taking that you're a grown man and you know you're gonna respect me man you know and in most cases a lot of these brothers that were coming against me some of them were younger you know and i'm like you know what happened to respecting your elders you know you, you know i'm 38 i'm two years shy from 40 you know show me some respect you know I, I didn't call you out your name and stuff you don't call me any names you know uh, so you know that was one of the uh issues uh, uh you know, a brother was just deciding, you know, he wanted to do a video with me. And I told him I would love to do it. But my situation about where I live, you know, going back to the music, I gave the music up. So there goes the money. You know, I work a nine to five, but, it, you know, like I said, it pays the bills. It gets me food, you know, clothes, shelter, all that, you know. But, you know, um, I'm not I'm not a wealthy guy, you know, and I gave a lot of stuff up, you know, I gave up that, you know, trying to make that big money, you know, and flourish in this society, you know, just follow, you know, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. So um, it put me in a very low state, a very low place, you know, um, you know, I don't have the most fanciest phone and the plan and stuff like that, you know, it's prepaid. Uh, you know, of course, it's monthly, I pay it monthly, but you know, it's not a fancy phone and it. Uh, you go over so you know you only have so much uh, of your data and once you go over that it's very slow so you can't load videos i do everything on on there by the way because of my residence where i live I pr practically i have uh you know there's a house that rents out bedrooms and it's kind of like that over in louisville which that's my uh you know that's my birthplace but i live in southern indiana but they it's a house and they rent out bedrooms so you know, I have a bedroom, which that's pretty much my place, you know, and I, uh, you cannot get your own internet there. So that's, you know, kind of, kind of hurt me with that, you know, but, um, you know, I use my phone I, and mainly I've just watched videos cause I work uh, five days a week. So while I'm there, you know, and I'm able to be on my phone, but I can't be on it constantly because it, my hands, I need to be using my hands to do my job, but I have my, uh, earbuds or headphones in and just listen to brothers messages and stuff like that it gets me through the day you know because our people are being oppressed man uh you know and it, it hurts you know i'm at a low state it hurts it's you're tired you're tired man and uh but the word really got me through it gets me through the day you know and um 
So I wanted people to know that, you know, when they think that, you know, someone's saying I'm not on the highways and byways, that you don't think that I'm just not going out, you know. You know, a brother's at a very low state, and it's not making any excuse. But when you talk to certain brothers, they're quick to say, you know, it's like they got this one-track mind. Only thing on their mind is you're not on the highways and byways. And I'm like, well, you know, you done skipped over everything I said about me being at the state that I'm in. You like, like, con- you like focusing on the whole highways and byways thing. You know, a lot of brothers unfollowed me. A lot of brothers, uh, you know, they still follow me, but they're just waiting for me to say something so they can send it to the other brothers and all that. And it's it's cool. You know, uh, I, I forgive everybody. You know, and I don't hate you. Uh, I love everybody. You know, because you know we're all brothers and sisters in this thing. You know, uh, we're Israelites. You know. I'm, you know, taking that we are, you know, because I know there's tears uh, amongst us and all that, too. So, uh, but, uh, you know, I saw a brother, you know, he said something on one of his posts, uh, mark them that caused division. And I'm like, I never caused any division, you know, uh, with anybody. It's actually these brothers that are, you know, posting me up talking about, hey, delete this brother and this brother's this and that and whoop, whoop, whoop. And I'm like, man, I never had any issues with you brothers, you know, but it all goes back to the fact that I didn't do a video with you and I wasn't able to do it. And the brother didn't want to hear that, uh, you know, and then he started sharing bits and pieces of screenshots of, of our conversation, you know, to make me out to be like, you know, the, the villain in a situation, you know, and I'm like, you know, the only thing that upset me in the conversation that we were having was the fact that he tried to call me a social media prophet. And I was like, you know, what is that? You know, because that's name calling. And he's like, oh, well, don't take no offense. It was called to me. And I'm like, well, that that's the difference between me and you. I'm not going to let anyone call me out my name or disrespect me. You know, I'm going to check that. You know, you call me by my name. You know, show me respect like I show you respect. And um, so, um, you know, he was going over the fact, like, like, I guess in his mind, you know, social media is not as big as YouTube. But I was, so I brought up, I, I've checked his channel out. I don't subscribe to his channel because I've only watched, I'm selected on who I listen to out of Great Millstone. I mainly listen to like some of the elder brothers, uh, their their channels and stuff, like the ones I've been listening to for, for so long. You know, every now and then I'll catch a brother's stuff. You know, if they post a link, I might go check their video out. But I don't subscribe to everybody just because you tell me to subscribe. You know, there's certain uh brothers who've been in this walk for a very long time and they're very seasoned and you know me being an OG I'm gonna listen to uh, a lot of them them brothers you know over some of these uh, younger cats which there's no disrespect I know that's I learned from a lot of the younger cats and stuff too but um, you know I just feel more comfortable listening to a lot of these seasoned um, brothers in the truth and um, and I learned a lot from them uh, but I used uh, an example because I looked at his channel and the brother only, ha- he had a video that was up for like two weeks and it only had like three views. So I'm like, you know, you got a uh, this following on, on Instagram and a lot of views, a lot of likes on your stuff, but people are not looking at your stuff on YouTube. Why is that? You know, that's kind of strange to me that you had something that was on there that long and they, uh, they didn't check your video out. So, you know, I think he got mad about that. And it was like, he said, I'm getting ready to do a lesson. Because I was at work. He hit me up while I was at work. So he uh, he hits me back and says, I'm getting ready to do a lesson. I'm going uh, to call you later. And, you know what I'm saying? We'll finish this. And I said, okay, take your time. You know, because, you know, I was thought he was being sincere. Come to find out the brother blocked me. And then he did a, a lesson on me. So I'm guessing when he went to go do the lesson, he was going to go talk about me. And, you know, word got back to me that the brother did it, you know, and I was like, wow, you know, that's crazy, you know, so I didn't think nothing of it. I didn't respond or nothing. I'm like, you know, I didn't do nothing to that brother, you know, but he just got mad because I didn't do a lesson with him. So another brother came like two weeks later and he followed me. He had a a private page, you know, and the brother, uh, he uh, he had a private page, which I thought that was kind of weird with you if you're a man of the Lord. You should be able to have it open to where people can see your page, you know, and you feed the flock, you know, because it's not 
to us to determine who's the elect. Because you, you'll say, it's not for everybody, it's for the elect. But how do you know who the elect are? You know, I mean, let's really think about that. It don't make sense that you trying to determine who it is, who, who it is and who isn't. You know, how do you know that you're not, you know, uh, a two-third or something like that? And don't say because you're on the highways and byways because, you know, it's, it's not about your works, man. You know, it is, but it isn't, you know. Because people can get boastful in their works. Uh, but the brother, uh, you know, uh, this brother, he jumped on my page uh, on, a com on, on a post. It had nothing to do with the topic or whatever of the post. He didn't like, like the post uh, either. He just jumped on there and said, you're on here all day. How come you can't dish out three videos and, and um, what did he say? three videos and it, it was something else I can't really remember uh it's been a minute but uh he he went into that and then he, he jumped back on he started saying uh something else uh you know very very disrespectful so I, I jumped into I just dm'd him and I said hey don't you ever do that again I said if you got a question like that personal you know between me and you just inbox me and then his reply was I said what I said so, you know, he's being disrespectful now. So I'm like, well, I said what I said. And then the brother went and blocked me. And then I guess, you know, I don't know if he did a video or he talked about me, but I'm taking that he did, uh, you know, and I, I ignored it or whatever for, for uh, weeks, months. You know, I went on about my business and just continue pushing the word out, you know, because I didn't get a chance to tell the brother, like I'm telling y'all my situation. You know, I don't have a car. Uh so, you know, I use Lyft to get around where I need to go. Uh, um, you know, uh, it's a lot of personal business, you know, that I'm telling. You know, I didn't want to put that out there because, you know, we're supposed to be very discreet, you know, and stuff like that, you know, in this world. Because we know Esau's watching this. But it got to a point where I feel like I just need to just come out, tell everyone who I am and my situation so that you know and you don't think that, you know, I'm out here bullshitting you or something like that. I'm making excuses. No. You know, I'm going to make a way to do videos. I'm going to make a way to get out and I'm going to make a way to put them on, uh, put them online so that you guys uh, could get edified and stuff like that. And just, you know, move on with that. You know, I I'm not a great, st uh, great millstone member, by the way, too. I'm not uh, part of great millstone. I do learn uh, a lot from the brothers, but I'm not part of, uh, of the of the camp. So I uh, don't know if that was a confusion in that. Maybe they thought I was part of it and I just wasn't doing the work or whatever. But, uh, you know, still what they were saying, it, I took it to heart because they don't know that I really wanted to be out there. It feels good to be standing here doing this. I am a little nervous, but I'm not nervous. Like, I, you know, I just don't want to uh, butcher anything and, and everything like that, you know, mess it up. I do have some um, scriptures as well that I do want to eventually bring out. So I don't want y'all to think I'm just rambling on. But I went through a lot with my family. You know, uh, you know, there was tension with my dad, tension with my mom. Uh, you know, and I, I love them both to death. But it's just I can't live with family because people will tell me, well, "Why don't you just move in?" You know, with a relative or move in with somebody, a shack up. With I can't do that, man. I, I'd rather have my own and have peace, I can focus on, on, on the word. You know, I wouldn't be able to do this being around family like that because they're not in this truth. They don't believe in this, you know. Uh, of course, I, I when I'm around them, I'm always telling them about this word and things like that, but the, the man, the curses are something. And a lot of, you know, we do know it's not for everybody. And currently, a lot of them, it's not soaking in. I got a sister that actually uh, took the jab, you know, but she's uh finally got on social media she's on facebook she don't do all the other stuff but uh she does facebook and uh she see me on there talking about yahweh you know why yahweh shy and she's starting to call on those names and she got the jab you know so i don't know you know maybe he might have mercy on her i don't know you know only time will tell but i think that's a beautiful thing i mean she knew about the jab before uh um you know taking it because we talked about it i told her you know don't take it um you know, uh, it's like one step before the, the actual M MOTB, you know, and I told her what that is and everything. And she was like, I'm not going to take it. But then she got into a situation where she needed a job and she took it. This job, you know, uh, 
and in order to get the job, you had to get the jab, and she, she, she took it, you know. And I was really hurt behind it. I, I mean, I cried and everything. It hurt me because that's my my older sister, and I love her, man. But it is what it is, you know. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring out a scripture. This is Deuteronomy 28, uh, 54 through 56. So give me a second. I'm gonna pull it up real quick. It's a little cool, cool out here. I have my gloves on, but they would probably get in the way. Uh, they'll get in the way of me flipping through these pages because I'm old school. You know, I have to pull out the pull out the book. All right, Deuteronomy 28. Uh, start at 54. Go to down to 56. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother and towards the wife of his bosom and towards the remnant of his children, which he shall leave so that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children whom he shall eat because he hath nothing left him in the siege and in the straightness wherewith thine enemy shall distress thee in all thy gates. The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not venture to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil towards the husband of her bosom, and towards her son, and towards her daughter. You know, so basically, you know, that's going into like, you know, the, uh, you know, the brother is going to be evil, you know, evil eye towards your brother, which, you know, you see a lot of that out in the world. I dealt with it with the music. Um, I dealt with it with, with family, you know, um, I'm starting to deal with it in its, tr in its truth. I didn't think, you know, that would be possible, but hey, <laughs> you know, you uh, expect the unexpected, you know, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's something. But my family, man, is very dysfunctional. And, uh, you know, my parents divorced when I was born, so I didn't know my dad until I was about seven or eight years old. But there's always been tension, you know, like uh, I was going to have a surgery some years back and he was supposed to be there because you know you're not able you won't be able to drive which i don't drive no ways you know that's something you know but uh he was uh he told me he was gonna be there so i had to have somebody to be there and i called him uh hours before the surgery and he didn't pick up his phone you know so my mom had to come uh she was living here in indiana at the time but she lived like in cities like about an hour and a half away but she drove down man to to make sure be there for me and get me out and you know he calls me like two days later and just says oh i don't keep my phone with me come on now <laughs> so that kind of like i was like i got man i cut him off you know i love you you're my dad but i had to cut him off because i'm like you know he's he's big on like you know he's iffy he's one second he's cool with you and everything the next thing you know he just do some weird stuff like that um and then you know and leave you leave you high and dry he did my mom like that uh we were kids, uh, he had took her grocery shop and they were divorced already, but you know, uh, you know, she got two kids to feed, you know, so he comes and takes her grocery shopping. He has her in the line ready to check out. And then he, uh, you know, he says, oh, I forgot my wallet in the car. He takes off in his car and leaves her in line. No money, cart full of food, you know, so. You know, it's things like that, you know, that make you just kind of like, you know, but we, we have re reconnected lately. We've been talking. He wants to go see that Black Panther movie and everything, which I've been doing things with him. He's, he done got jabbed up too. You know, he's done got the boosters and everything. But I've been mentioning the Israelite stuff to him. Uh, you know, maybe he might take hold, you know, mention, you know, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shaka. Because we all got to hear this gospel, you know, so. I, I mentioned some stuff to him, and I'm going to do it. You know, I'll go with him to the movie and go check that out and, you know, and, and tell him some more, you know. It's just, you know, it's part it's part of the uh, ministry and doing the work, man. You got to uh, you gotta let people know. But, you know, but that was one issue. I had, you know, the, the father. You know, I've had uh, issues with my siblings. You know, some of them, you know, didn't deal with me or grudges. Um even my mom, you know, that was one of the reasons she played a big part in me almost being homeless. You know, I was trying to save up for an apartment coming back from L.A. because I had let go of the, the the music label and everything, you know, to pursue and, you know, this word and stuff. I knew I, I was going to have to, uh, you know, 
give that up, you know, which I did. And I just wanted to just focus on doing this, but I needed my own place. You know, you don't want to be living with your folks and stuff. If you have to, you can, but you know, we're under these curses, so it's it's rough. You try to make it work because, you know, Issachar is cold at it. If you know, you know, a lot of people know Issachar, uh, you know, they they come together, man. They're very family oriented, man. I, I, like I said, I got a lot of uh, Issachar rights on my father's side too. So I know about it. I'm, I'm, I have that kind of spirit on me. I'm big with family, but I know that these curses are tearing minds up. So we wouldn't be able to live together. But when she got wind of me trying to move and get my own place, next thing you know, my wallet came up missing. 